Oh, hey guys, this is AW Pixotica and welcome to another video. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already. Today I'm gonna talk about 10 mistakes that beginner YouTubers make. I committed them once I started my channel, though I cannot claim my channel to be, you know, a really big channel, but what uh, I wanted to give you guys is these 10 mistakes so that you don't commit them. I try to avoid them as much as possible. Coming up. Alright guys, the number one mistake that a uh, lot of new YouTubers commit is that they don't just start. I don't know what people keep waiting for. I don't know what they're waiting for. I don't, I don't know why they spend this time thinking and pondering just to start. Grab hold of whatever camera you have, whatever gear you have and just start the channel. This is one of the biggest mistakes that, uh, you know, beginner young YouTubers who are thinking of starting a YouTube channel commit. Do not do this. Just start with whatever you have. Hey, another mistake that a lot of us commit is gas, which is gear acquisition syndrome. Now what happens is that a lot of us tend to look towards acquiring the latest gear that is available in the market. Best camera, for example, a $10,000 camera, a $1,000 microphone. You don't need all this stuff to make your videos look good. What you need is a good story and an excellent content. So gear acquisition syndrome is one of the mistakes that a lot of beginner YouTubers commit. Another mistake that people commit is going after random niches. Find your niche. Zero down on that, aim down on that, and shoot. Go for one niche, don't go random. If you are trying to make a photography or a videography or a filmmaking channel, stick to that. Don't go for, you know, a recipe thing, a food recipe thing inside the channel. That, that's gonna cause trouble. People won't understand, people won't get the jibe or the vibe that you're trying to, you know, uh, give through the particular niche that you selected in the first hand. Don't go random on the niches. Pick up a niche and focus on that. Your channel should, uh, you know, resemble the niche that you chose for yourself on YouTube. Do that. Another common mistake is not experimenting enough, not evolving your style on the YouTube channel. Fe being fearful of uh, changing the conditions, changing the variables which uh, apply on your videos and not experimenting with them, not experimenting with the camera angles, not experimenting with the sound quality, not experimenting with different locations and a lot of other stuff. Not changing things, not experimenting things because experimentation is going to add to uh, your own knowledge. It's going to add to the value of uh, the video that you're trying to make. It's going to add to your filmmaking skills. It's going to add a lot to your overall channel. So always experiment. Don't forget to experiment. Another mistake that a lot, of, a lot of us commit is content consumption instead of content creation. What we do is we start consuming a lot of content out there that's available on YouTube. It's very easy to click on a video and then get really, really distracted by clicking 10 more videos. So what you ought to do is specify the time for content consumption. Limit that content consumption to the content that actually helps you produce better videos or make better videos. The rest of the time should be or ought to be spent on content creation, on videos, on improving your editing skills on the softwares, on improving your overall confidence in front of the camera, the talking uh, confidence in front of the camera, and a lot of other things as well, your overall personality and stuff. Do not focus a lot on content consumption. Start creating, start con creating from small things, perhaps a 20 second clip, perhaps a 30 second clip, and then start to gradually increase the timings of the clips until you have the stamina to actually record for a good about 20 to 30 minutes. Yet another point of concern is not engaging enough with the audience that you've built around your channel. What you do is you're just, you know, making content, producing content for people, making, you know, videos for uh, your viewers out there. But if you're not interacting with the average viewer that's, you know, posting in your comments and is very serious about what you're doing, he likes your videos and he's post he posted something in the comment section, you don't pay attention to that. That's the fault right there. You need to engage with the audience that you've belt. You need to engage with them. Ask them what they want. Ask them what they want on your channel. That's that's the most important thing. So engaging with the audience is very, very, very necessary. And a lot of, uh, you know, beginner YouTubers fail to understand this aspect, which ultimately leads to 
very slow growth or in worst case scenarios, subscriber loss. Another problem that a lot of us generally face is camera shyness or being shy in front of the camera. Uh, I know it's a little weird once uh, this pointy lens is looking at you and you're talking to it, you're trying to talk because it's not natural. We human beings are hardwired to talk to one another. That's natural. This looking inside the lens and trying to communicate, trying to throw your point of view across is a little problematic. So camera sinus is one of the mistakes that a lot, one of the problems that a lot of young YouTubers face. This is one of the things that you can do away with. And the only way you can do it with camera shyness is practice, practice and practice. The more you practice, the more you stay in front of your camera, the shyness is going to go away. All right, number nine on my list is not being consistent with the content that you're posting on YouTube or uploading on any social media platform. Make it a habit to regularize your content. Post a video for, let's say, once in a week, one video in two weeks, one video in three weeks, and be consistent with that so that your subscriber base has something to look forward to. That I know this guy right here on this channel is gonna make one video at least in one week, and that video is available for me to enjoy the type of content, whichever type of content that he enjoys. So be consistent. Try to be as consistent as possible on this platform. That's really gonna help you. Another mistake that a lot of us make is we try to mimic uh, well-known YouTubers like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, and Peter Lindgren. Uh, what happens is that you fail to develop your own natural style, your own personality in front of the camera. And the audience is simply uh, will get the impression that you are just a copycat. Don't do that. Develop your own style in front of the camera. Develop your own talking style. Develop your own style of expression so that the audience uh, or your subscriber base gets accustomed to your style of expressing things. Don't mimic. Mimicking is one of the biggest mistakes on YouTube these days. There is no originality. There is absolutely no originality in that. Develop your own style. So those were 10 basic mistakes that beginner YouTubers commit while starting their channel or while even thinking about their channel. Do not commit these mistakes. Uh, try to limit these mistakes as much as possible. And I'm sure you're going to find success through your own, you know, practice and through your own hard work. This is Ali from AWP Exotica. If you guys are new here, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already. That's really going to help this channel grow up a bit that's me signing off for now see you in another video really really soon bye bye